Okay, question. Is it wrong to drive around and look at Christmas lights? I know if you're watching this for the first time and you're like, what did he just say? Did he just ask the question whether it's wrong to drive around to look at Christmas lights? Who wouldn't want to do that? Well, if you don't really support all of the roots of origins of where Christmas comes from and and you understand how God feels about uh, putting his son uh, and celebrating his son's birthday on the same day as, as the pagan sun God's birthday on December 25th, the winter solstice, and all the things we borrowed from paganism that are inside of Christmas, then the question does make sense. So let's talk about the question and see uh, what we might be able to deduce from it. First of all, lights are not pagan. There's nothing wrong with lights. Lights are good. God put them in the heavens, right? He put them uh, to to illuminate the sun and the moon and stars, illuminate the night and the daytime. Nothing wrong with lights uh, in and of themselves. It's how they're used, right? So during Christmas season, there's a lot of times there's uh, there's city parks that are filled with millions of lights and they charge a fee to get in. We chose not to do that anymore for uh, years ago, simply because there's just too much Santa Claus. It's not just lights. If they just had a park that was nothing but lights and there was no agenda or theme of Santa, you know, the elves and the whole Christmas scene, uh, I'd be all for that because there's nothing wrong with lights. And sometimes they can put them in 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 in, in uh, ways that are just absolutely beautiful in the trees. And I can glorify God uh, doing that. Uh, but uh, most of the Christmas lights today are just filled with uh, Christmas Saturnalia type of uh, motifs. And uh, the whole Santa Claus and reindeer and elves and uh, all of that and the above really just kind of diminishes it for me. So for me personally, going around and looking at Christmas lights doesn't do a whole lot for me because it's one out of 10 homes that, that really, uh, at least in my neck of the woods, that does not really have the the whole Christmas theme uh, of the Santa, if you will. So, uh, but if lights are your thing and uh, you want to walk, drive around and do that, and you can look past uh, the Santa Claus stuff, if that's what you want to do, there's certainly not a sin in doing that. I personally don't do it. Um, I just don't see the the value in it uh, and, and, and the time uh, that's wasted to to really have my kids, you know, enthralled by uh, all these lighted up uh, Santa Clauses uh, and and different things that are that are out. In some places, it's out of control. People spend thousands of dollars to light up their entire house and backyard and front yard with all of these uh, Christmas arrays and they kind of go overboard in my opinion. So I don't know. It's kind of a gray issue. You have to let the Holy Spirit lead you, guide you, guide you. In my personal walk, uh, Holy Spirit has has kind of impressed upon us that it's just kind of a waste of time. And and also it could you could also make a case that it supports the Christmas scene by doing that. And so because we're not supporters of the whole entire Christmas scene, um, we really try to stay away from that particular thing. So hopefully that uh, makes sense. And uh, again, some of these questions are difficult. Some of them are in the gray area. I'm not a guru. I can't have, uh, I'm not the Holy Spirit, but I can just tell you what we're doing as a family. And hopefully that makes sense. So shalom. If this video blessed you, I encourage you to watch this video and this video as well. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on those notifications. Check out our Instagram page at Jim Staley Official and visit our website at passionfortruth.com. In the meantime, I'm Jim Staley and I'll see you in the next video.